which of the following backup storage options must be included in the conceptual design for the solution to satisfy the requirements? Choose three. Okay, I think we might have to go and take a look at the scenario here to try and figure that out. But maybe we, we should take a look at the options here and we can try and sort of cross-reference them because if we read the whole thing and try to remember everything, first of all, we could spend a lot of time reading. Secondly, uh, can be difficult to remember everything. So let's see. First one is talking about rotated drives. Well, uh, we already took a sneak peek at this previously. And we, under technical requirements, already saw the golden information here. All repos must be hardened. Now, that means we can't go with rotated drives. So that, that's already out. Uh, option two, on-prem secondary immutable backup storage for... Uh, backup copy jobs from a data center. Okay, that, that could be one. That could be one. Let, let's go and see. So, uh, copy job. So, it's, it's, what, what, what does it actually say here? Uh, we would need to take some look here. So, any backup solution to take advantage of public cloud storage. Good to know, but not relevant here yet, at least. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Something retention. Uh, no, mm -hmm. no space saving. Okay. Oh, there is something about here. Mutable copy must be stored off off site. Okay, that's also good to know. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And uh, here we go. Must be three copies of data two different kinds of media with one off-site copy that's either air-gapped or immutable. Okay, so if we if we go back, uh, it says here which ones must be included to satisfy them. Okay, uh, <clears throat> so this it, it, it did say something about immutable, right? So we, we, we will pick this one. On-prem LTO8, LTO9, I wouldn't say we have to include that. Like it, it, it's something we could potentially do, but um, that that would satisfy the the air gap one. Uh, but uh, it doesn't say anywhere that we must use tape. So um, that that's something to maybe think about here. So I'm I'm gonna skip that one for now. Public cloud immutable object storage uh, capacity. Okay, it did say we should use public cloud, and on-prem primary mutable backup storage in each data center. Okay, so let's, if, if we pick that, we, we just want to go back and sort of uh, revalidate here. So it, it did say that um, one uh, offside one had to be immutable. It doesn't technically say that both of those have to be uh, immutable here, but uh, I mean, why, why, why not? It, it, it would definitely satisfy the, the requirements to do that. Uh, whereas uh, rotated drives would not, uh, tape uh, would not fully support that, like it would have to be combined with something else. It, it, it would meet the uh, combined one of, uh, of the air gapped piece, but um, it, it, it says on prem, right? So it, it would have to be off prem to actually work. And, and I think that's, that's the little key differentiator here that, that turns this one from what could be correct to uh, what is a incorrect answer. So I'm gonna go with uh, one and three as the incorrect ones and one, four and five as the correct answers.